Now on Local 5, a former high school soccer coach is charged for allegedly sexually assaulting a student. And a former state senate majority leader sounds off on last night's election. From WFRV-TV, Green Bay, Fox Cities, and the Lakeshore, this is Local 5 News at 6 in HD. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for the first time in years. Wisconsin has gone red. The state's electoral shift helped pave the way for Donald Trump's upset victory. As you can see on this graphic, Trump won a vast majority of Wisconsin's counties. Here in Northeast Wisconsin, Trump carried every county except Menominee County. Local 5 Steve Dent joins us with what more, what led to the change. Well, Tom and Aaron, Democrats were very confident going into election night, but they got blown out of the water by Republicans, surprising a lot of people, including myself. So I wanted to take today to figure out why this happened, and I think it's best summed up as the Democrats were trying to throw it to the end zone, but their pass got intercepted by Donald Trump. Democrats were surprised when they lost big here in Wisconsin last night. I don't understand it completely. Meanwhile, back at the farm. Former president of the state Senate, Mike Ellis, has a theory. The problem with the Democrats' playbook last night, I hate to say it, but it reminds me a little bit of the Green Bay Packers passing attack. Everybody knows what they're going to do before they do it. Meanwhile, our future president, Donald Trump, appealed to working-class Americans. They came out in droves last night. They just ran right down the line and scored five touchdowns in two minutes. Ellis says the working class feels neglected, and we have lost jobs recently in Manitowoc, Brilliant, and around the state. Manufacturing, which is a heart, heartbeat of Wisconsin, has suffered. The Democrats didn't get the turnout they hoped for among women, African American, Latino, and millennial voters. It was both of those things. On the one hand, you have the that group of Trump voters that did turn out that may not have turned out before, and then also uh, what we call an enthusiasm gap or a, a little bit lower turnout rate uh, among groups that were really essential to a Clinton win. And Trump's effect in Wisconsin had a huge impact up and down the ticket. Donald Trump provided them with a huge new block of voters. He designed new plays to get into the end zone. And when he got in the end zone last night, he just won the Super Bowl. And the polls had Democrats winning, but I also learned today that the working class who showed up to vote for Donald Trump likely didn't respond to calls to participate in polls. For your local election headquarters, live in the newsroom, Steve Dent, Local 5 News.